Hey YouTube, this is College Toot, and we're just going to show you three different methods for selecting hair. One that's pretty more beginner, and then one that gets a little more advanced, and it's a little bit better. But you can choose what you want for the situation that you have. Before we get started, if you'd like to subscribe, cool. If you don't, no big deal, no worries. Uh, message me with any help that you need, or message me with any cool tutorial topics you have. Okay, so to get started on this uh, picture, what I want is I want this uh, white background to be a little more white because there's some grays in here. And just to make the selection easier, I want to make it a little more white. So I'm going to go Image, Adjustments. Actually, before I'm going to do that, I'm just going to make a copy of this layer just so we can uh, have a copy and we won't have to mess around with anything. So go Copy right there, uh, Image, Adjustments, Levels. And so we want these whites to be wider, but it will also help out if this um, hair is a little bit darker. And so to make the whites wider, you can pull this mid tones, you can pull it to the side, or you can pull your white slider to the side, whichever one you like. But I also want to make this dark, the hair a little bit darker, so I'm going to make the hair a little bit darker, you see, but it also makes the background darker, but I'm going to bring up those whites too, so you can see that the whites are getting much whiter. Um, but if you do it too much, it'll take away from your other selections of your hair. And so I, I like the mid-tones one. I'll just make the whites just a touch whiter. Looks good. <clears throat> cool, so the first thing that we're going to do is take out our quick selection tool. This is the first method, by the way. So quick selection tool, then we're just going to go over the hair right here. And you're going to go over the hair all over the place. Cool. And basically the quick selection tool is just going to, Photoshop is going to select the pixels that it, you, it thinks that you want it to select. But sometimes it does a bad job. <clears throat> and if, you, if it selects more than you want, you can click Alt and then that'll quick deselect and so you can deselect some of the stuff as so you can just deselect right there make it a little bit smaller deselect right there cool and you just you kinda just get it going right now so the first test that we're gonna do or the only test we're gonna do is this color test and so we're gonna go over to create adjustment layer and we're gonna do hue and saturation and we're gonna slide the hue uh, slider to the left and right and you're just gonna select it and so you can see here that it's changing the hair color and this is kind of cool, except, you know, that, <coughs> I'm sorry, that there's some browns right here. And so it's not exactly what we want, and probably the quick selection tool isn't the greatest, but if you're just trying to do a quick selection, then you can use it. Cool. Next thing that we're going to do is deselect that. I'm going to select color range. And so I'm going to go select up here, and I'm going to go color range. And I'm going to tell Photoshop to select the white background. So I'm going to click right here. And if you, you can see if you click in other spots, it'll select different colors. But I'm going to tell it to select this white background right here. And the fuzziness is how much of the white background you want it to select. So if it's all the way to the left, it won't select that much. But if you move it to the right, it'll select more and more and more. But you can see here that this is the selection. And it's starting to select some of the white in the hair, which is not really what I want. So I'm going to just go pull back on it a little bit. And the black is what it's not selecting. The white is what it's selecting. So I'm just going to click invert. And so the hair turns white right here. And click OK. And so you can see here now that the hair is selected. But then also we have some selection stuff down here. And there's a couple ways of doing this. I'll show you one method right now and another method in the next. I'm going to pull up my quick lasso tool. And if you look closely, if you click Shift, there's a plus by it. And if you click Alt, there's a minus by it. And so the plus will add to the selection, but the minus will minus from the selection. So I'm just going to take this and click Alt and then select around where I don't want it to select. So I'm going to select everything, pretty much butter hair. And so you can see here that it got rid of all of her dress that was selected. And you can just like deselect this dress right here. Cool. Looks alright. Uh, yeah, we'll just do that for now. And so you can see that it's a, it's, a, it's not a bad selection, it's pretty good. And then we'll go to our test again, we'll go hue and saturation. And you can see here that most of the most of the green strands or most of the brown strands are changing color. So that's pretty much really that's that's a good uh, good outcome. And you can go lightness, and you can see that it's actually e pretty good because we made it her hair black. And you can see here that most of the strands turn black, and there's no uh, overlapping. Looks uh, you know looks whatever looks good. And then we'll go on to our last method. And so for our last method, we're going to come over here to channels. And there's the red, there's the RGB, which is the red, green, blue channel. And then there's the red, red channel, there's the green channel, and there's the blue channel. And what I want to select is I want one with the most contrast. And so red, the hair is pretty light, and so that's not really what we want. Then there's green, and then there's blue. And you can see blue here has the most contrast 
um, available to us. And you can see here that it's selecting, you know, everything over here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to control click on this blue layer and then go back up and then click RGB again. And so then it shows all of all the channels together. Cool. So next thing we are going to do is you can see what it looks like if we don't. Um, so we'll go adjustment then go hue and saturation. If we don't deselect her skin, then it's just going to select her skin. And it's going to change everything. So pretty much it's, you can see it's changing a whole lot up top and that's not really what we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to invert the selection, control, shift, invert. And so now her hair is selected and you can see here by going to hue and saturation again, you can see her hair is changing color, but also the flower is changing color and her bra strap is changing color. Not really what we want. So we're, then we're going to go into quick mask mode and this is another way of deselecting things that you don't want instead of taking out your lasso tool and drawing by hand. So we're going to go to quick mask mode and what that does is it shows everything that's red is not selected and everything not red is selected. And so in this one it's a little easier to see opacities, um, how they change and all that stuff. And so we're going to pull out our brush tool. And what's kind of cool about quick mask mode is if you have a black brush, black foreground color selected but you paint on this red, it'll just paint a darker red and it won't paint a black. And so this is quick mask mode. So basically black means that it's, or red means that, that it's selected and black means that it's not selected. And you can see in here that I'm just coming over and I'm going to make my hardness is around 43% and I'm just going to select around her hair and just kind of go around. And so make the meter diameter a little bit smaller. Just come over here. If you have more time, spend a lot more time on this. I'm just trying to do this quick for the tutorial. And we could you could be spending a lot more time on this. Cool. Alright. Just get her skin and everything selected right there. Cool. And then also another really cool thing is you can see um that this light area of red, I kind of want that to be red, just like this darker area. So I'm going to go to image, adjustments, and you can, and then go to levels. And so you can deal with this red as if it's a, if it's a color too. So you can see I move the slider, and that part becomes more red and more red and more red. So that's it's a, that's a pretty cool option. And so you, I'm just gonna, we don't want to lighten that up right there. That looks, you know, not too bad. So now the red, now it's more blended together, and it looks good. Then we'll zoom out, and we'll see our selection. And you know that looks all right for now, and then we'll go cool. So this hair selected. Then we'll do our color test. I mean, oops, my mistake. Then we'll go uh, adjustment and hue and saturation. We'll do our color test. And so this one, you know, is almost seeming like the best color test so far because everything's selected. There's no brown spots, and that's one of my favorite ways to select hair in this option. And so you can just pick your colors, and we can lighten it up and see how that looks. See, the, even the black looks great. The black hair, and so that just looks awesome. And there's no uh, weird white spots. And white hair looks weird because obviously it look weird because it's pure white. But the black doesn't look too bad, and then these colors don't look too bad. So if you have any questions, um, just message me. Any tutorial topics, message me. Subscribe if you like. Cool. No big deal. Um, yeah. Have a good day. We'll talk later.